Uh, hello everyone, Laurie's sort of back. Uh, today, obviously it's snowing, going to do a couple more mods to the uh, Subaru. Uh, I've got a new sun strip to go at the top, obviously got to clear the snow first. Uh, then I'm going to change these indicators, oh that headlight is a bit scabby isn't it, uh, to LEDs. Because I don't think the ones on there at the minute are particularly bright and effective. Uh, the car's currently defrosting, so we're also quickly going to return, as it's going to be a vloggy video, we're going to return some stuff that we bought. Um, I bought some new bearings and hubs to go in here because it's definitely making a bit of a racket and it shouldn't do. First off though, uh, I've already got delayed Wait. coming over here by the joyous people that don't realise that because the snow is not on the road, you don't have to drive there's snow on the road. Uh, so uh, Laurie's pointed out that uh, Burger King have also got a new burger out uh, called the Bacon King. That's exciting. Yeah, and as he's lost loads of weight since coming back from New Zealand, we need to uh, fix that problem. So uh, first off, we're going to go to the post office, then we're going to go to Burger King. Right, let's go. So, yeah, sorry McDonald's, you disappointed us with the Grand Mac. Let's hope that uh, Burger King will uh, not be equally as heartbreaking. Well, that goes our sponsorship with Mackie D's. I think that's for the best, mate. <laughs> Welcome to beautiful, sunny Bury St Edmunds, a uh, quaint little town in the east of England. Oh, this is also where my nearest Burger King is, and uh, Laurie's also forgot something in the back of a van that he left here, so that's another reason why we're having to come here. Because I'm a professional. Yeah, professional what though? We haven't worked out yet. Why are people buying cars of this colour now? This appears everywhere. I mean, Audi have done it with Nardo Grey, and then uh, the Kia we drove the other day had it. Porsche keep doing this one called Crayon, like. <laughs> Why, why would you buy a car? It's not even like an exciting grey, like the seal grey or slate grey that Porsche used to do. It's just flat. I don't like it. This car park, very Edmonds, little town. Two, two pound for an hour. Daylight robbery. Absolute daylight robbery. Yeah, okay, here's a coin to present a card to make a purchase, right? I'm a Uber car. Two pound. We're not going to be here more than two hours, are we? We're only having I'm going to be here for an hour. We're going to just eat. If I just tap my card. So this is a van that we allowed to review top top of the line cars, flummoxed by a simple. No, you, you, tap, you, you start off by tapping your card and then, then it asks you what you want, and then you want to tap the card. Flummoxed by a simple machine. Not flummoxed, infuriated. That's actually the way you want it to do. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Are you doing a cheeky vloggy style shot of my feet going along? in my crappy shoes. I was doing a, have you ever seen a man walk with so much um, determination? These are just my comfy loafery type shoes because I'm not going to be driving anything. Oh no, I'm driving the Avora, oh shit. Oh, it's not going to be, actually, it's I can get away with it in the Avora with these just about, but it's not much fun. No, I drove it the other day briefly. It did I, I say briefly, like 260 miles. Oh yeah, it's very brief, very brief. It did start, it did start. I was worried it wouldn't start, but it did. I never have that concern with any vehicles. No, because we know they're not going to start. You know what though, I was fully prepared. I took um, a, an extension cable, I took a battery charger, I took everything. And um, yeah, put the camera away, you make me look like more of a wally than usual. Slices of bacon. And half a pound of meat in there as well. Come on you, put that away. Fusion now. I had to be quick filming this because otherwise they play loads of copyrighted music on top of everything. I'm, I'm disappointed that there's not coming like some special like box. Mackie D's is very good at that, isn't it? The, the, box. Signature, the signature comes in a very fancy box. That's a disappointing bacon. It's very small bits of bacon. That is not it? how it looks at the photo at all. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Ooh, oh, that's, that's good. Thanks for that. Someone drank too much of this. Yes. And then did it again. That's the worst thing. Sorry, the bacon XL. There's actually more bacon in it. This was eight very, very small. Yeah, they just cut the bacon up into bits. Yeah, so basically, That's not more it was bacon. Pre-cut up bacon. The promise of it overflowing with bacon, they did, 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 did not, not deliver. deliver. It was, it was nice. It's, it's not like the uh, the Big Mac 
big the one. Grand Mac. Grand Mac, that one. Mac Daddy. Which was the Mac Daddy. Which was just disappointing. It was very pleasant. Yeah. It was just not what it was advertised to be. Anyways, less calories, more cars. Let's use the magic of YouTube to get home, shall we? Oh yeah. Yeah. Just click your fingers and we'll be home. First job of the day, replace this sunstrip. Not that I have anything particularly against it, but I want to put something slightly different on. So I'm just going to clean the screen up here so it's all fairly decent. I mean, this screen's going to have to be replaced at some point because it does have a few chips in it, but hey, um, you know, this is never going to be an immaculate car, I don't think so. Going to make the best uh, best that we can. Uh, the sunstrip has come pre-cut, so the theory is it'll go on pretty easy. So I'm just going to give this wipe down now. We'll peel the old one off and then uh, we'll do the best job we can of getting the uh, new one on. Okay. You're set. Actually, that was just a vinyl on top of a vinyl anyway. Same style as what we just bought. Oh, no, that's torn at the top. That's torn at the top. Let's get it from the other side. But you were doing so well. I was doing well. Didn't he do well? Not momentarily, yeah. Yeah, well, tomorrow I'm filming. Tomorrow I've got some very, very exciting content that I'm filming, so... Well, don't, don't say that, because you'll, you'll uh, muck up the... Space-time continuity of YouTube videos. The space-time con... <laughs> Look what you did. Look what you made me do. <laughs> you know, I was walking through town once. It was in Bury, Quite a nice little town. And there's this kid. You know, screaming. Screaming, howling. I don't know what had happened, but... He was there and he was uh, not happy about something. Anyway, his mum was there and she was really not happy about the scene he was making. So, you know, she was looking at him, she was not impressed, and then suddenly she just turns and goes, whap! His, and his kid is like this big, you know, he doesn't know any better. And uh, everyone around stopped and looked at her. And she stands there and she's like, Look what you've done! <laughs> Some people. Try and get it so it's going again. Stop pulling it, I'm trying to catch up with you. Gonna happen. So I just had to go and take a phone call which uh, left JM alone for a good five minutes and the progress he's made has been five minutes my ass. Okay so it was ten but so right, let's, let's get a nice look at how, how you're doing with this. Wonderfully. Oh, it's almost, almost a professional level job at removing them. Yanni don't got shit on me. <laughs> so we've now attached a mask down roughly where we want it. This uh, new sun strip. And uh, my <laughs> my vinyl applicator has gone missing. So I'm going to do the most pretty thing I can. I'm using my Nando's card. So uh, now I've got to very carefully... Hopefully that screen is up because I'll basically only get one shot at this. Unwrap some of this get a little bit of it detached, then basically work my way down pretty much and uh, see how we do. This weather today is horrendous. And kind of a success, I suppose. Gems disappeared off because uh, he was gone to look for the other the other bits that were going to add to it. Um, it's gone on. It was <laughs> it was harder than he was expecting, I think, and about as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Part two. There's some decals to go on it. So these are slightly more traditional vinyl things. So. Out comes the old Nando's card. We're just going to eye line these. So these are based on the uh, 2001 WRX car. So I sent the guy Dog Patino. I sent him a picture of what I wanted and he sent me his back. And to be fair, looks to me like he's got it pretty bang on. So I mean, Laurie's helped to sort of work out where dead center is. Well, actually, this thing here is dead center, isn't it? So that's great. So. Oh, yeah, that must be. Well. So basically, as long as we get the. B and the A are the dead centre of this. You know I'm really bad at these kind of things, right? What's that? Well, we only had one chance of the other one. Yeah, we definitely didn't redo that halfway through. No, 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 definitely not. 
Think of the environment. Don't litter kids. Oh, yeah. No, you don't. No, you don't. These things. Don't do anything. Keep that end held up. Yep. At this stage. Oh, because they actually do come off the vinyl. Basically, what is when they print the vinyl, they have to cut round it. And if you cut too deep or not deep enough, you can get a lot of issues with it. Yes. 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 No. Y yes. Fair enough. Yeah. No, no, okay, that's that's good. Ah, right. how do you feel? Oh, yeah. pretty positive. Yeah, I like that. Do we actually do something that you actually you don't hate? I oh, know you hate it. I can it's see. It's definitely the on the wonk, but but at least when I take it to a professional shop, I can say, can you make it like that, look like that, but not shit. <laughs> so, next task: uh, these indicators, because at the minute it's got. Uh, it's actually got some. What's, is there LEDs in there already? What are the LEDs for? There's some LEDs in there. Oh, I never noticed LEDs in this car before, so what are they? Don't tell me the indicators are LED already, because otherwise that'll be like a video done. <laughs> You're like, and LEDs? Yeah. Here's some someone else did earlier. Uh, right. Aren't LED, are they? No, no, that's just a side light at the top that's LED. Is that is that those? Well, you've got headlights on at the moment. Oh, hang on. That side lights, yeah, your side lights are LEDs. Side lights are LEDs? Yeah. Those lights? Yes. Side lights. Headlights. So, those are the indicators. indicators we're trying to replace. How I'm getting those on those. It's a jab car, he said. It'll be easy, he said. Out. Hopefully, it'll be just this one bulb holding in. Who knows? Nope. That's got a decidedly attached to something underneath the field to it, hasn't it? It feels like it wants to. Do you have to Cross. release? There we go. Ah. Oh, okay. Well, that's part of that, isn't oh, yeah, it? There's another yeah. bolt there. That's, that's what I was about to say. There's a bolt there. That's... And there's one missing from here. This hasn't been out in a little while. Well, it's a little, little stiff, is it? A wee bit, yeah. It's when the rest of the cup just falls apart. <laughs> Oh, it didn't. <laughs> oh, God! Where is it? <laughs> no! <laughs> Thank you for your support. <laughs> There's no under tray on this, so it should really have come out, but it's on a slope. Right, can, can you see it? <laughs> That's. Well, that's gone forever. That's going to make the day harder. This isn't bought, is it? Can't be asked. Well, that's. Sure, you have to take the light out to see that one. I don't know. Someone's obviously done something with the lights in this car because I can't imagine that this is how it originally was. There's a lot of stuff under here. So, like, I don't know what this thing is what it does or anything else so it might even be to do with the um, water cool spray actually uh, might right. be where that goes so I've abandoned doing the front ones I've lost my 10 mil socket somewhere in the car however I'm not saying the back ones are easier but in less than the time it's taken Laurie to fill a bucket with some water 
I have done one of them. On the left side you can see what it looked like uh, before and on the right side what it looks like now. Now it's currently now more yellow than amber so but I think it should be clear enough what that's signalling so I'm now going to carry on and do this one. It's pretty easy to do. Literally you just pop a trim clip here get in and then it's it's just hard to see if the camera would like to focus that would be novel but it's just up here this little one here just basically rotate bulb comes out jobs are good there's the old one which was uh, knackered so now i'm going to do the other one our next task of the day is to give the aurora a bit of a clean now uh tomorrow i'm out filming with another youtuber and look, this car's not had a clean really this year it's um it's filthy uh, I mean, I make no apologies for that. Basically, um, the, the weather has just been shocking lately. So, uh, you know, the problem is that had I cleaned it within about a minute's worth of driving, it would have uh, looked exactly the same again. So now, hopefully, it's going to be dry enough. We can clean it, get it down to Bell and Cobble tomorrow for uh, another guest YouTuber to have a go in the car and see what the Aurora is all about. So, uh, who that is, you'll have to wait and see. So our first stage here is to cover the car in a bit of citrus pre-wash, you know, pressure wash it, which will get most of the grime off really. Not really thick mud or anything on the car, but uh, we've got a lot of air in this apparently because this has not been used in a while. about to show you now is the power of um, cleaning your wheels once in a while with some Valet Pro Dragon's Breath which we've got here in their lovely little bottle so it's their uh, their pH neutral uh, you know iron fallout remover product um, I quite like it. it works quite well very jelly it sticks quite nicely um, so these wheels look grey and horrible at the minute which is what they do after a while basically you spray this let it do its thing I rub it in because you get a lot of brake dust out of this car and if you go on the other side you see what they look like afterwards which or, is black, the original colour or what we could do in the power of YouTube and uh... alright let's speed this up all products of this type basically stink I believe there's some sulphur something similar uh, in them be liberal with it and what is this stuff? this is the dragon's breath I'm just wiping it, I'm just working it in now the reveal So our final job for today that I wanted to get out of the way is just recovering this uh, A-pillar trim from the Subaru. So this is from the near side of the car and we just basically we just didn't do a great job down this bit here. It all sort of ruffled up. Didn't look as good as it could or should really have done. So we peeled off the old stuff and it was gluey. It was very gluey, so I'm going to get this back down on here and uh, basically sort of just do the best we can now. One of the biggest problems I had with it last time is basically there was too much glue. Just simple as that. So the key to this doing this this time I think, is we still need to get good coverage with the glue and it needs to go on both sides, but we just need to do it quick, I think. So uh, Less is more on all that? Yeah, I'll just get it fast, get a nice even coverage and uh, we'll just see how we get on. Uh, with it this time, so again, it's just getting right to the ends as well. <laughs> Screw something's wrong. Screw my ride. <laughs> oh, on MTV, yo. That actually doesn't look bad. Uh, there's a couple of spots where the old um, blues come through. Mostly down here where I've bored you up a bit, but. It's better than it was last time. It's you know, a I, vast I did a bit, improvement over last time. Yeah, 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 a bit heavy hands there. 
Happens to the best of us, mate. <laughs> Happens more often to the worst of us, but... Oh, it's certainly better than it was before, and this it might be livable with. Right, like I said, that's it for us, isn't it? Yep. So, we hope you've enjoyed today's little vlog style video. Are you enjoying these videos? Let us know. Are you not? Let us know as well, because the extra comments help us, to be honest. So, um, yeah. Uh, got any more ideas for stuff I can do to the Subu? Preferably stuff that an amateur idiot can do. Bearing in mind this idiot can't even change the front indicator bulb at the minute without throwing his sockets everywhere. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>